name is Kelly. I'm a librarian at the Bethlehem Area Public Library, and with permission from Harper and Collins, I'm going to be reading you If You Give a Dog a Donut by Laura Nimroth and Felicia Bond. If you give a dog a donut, he'll ask for some apple juice to go with it. And when you give him the juice, he'll drink it all up. Then he'll ask for some more. There won't be any left, so he'll want to make his own. He'll go outside to pick apples. When he's up in the tree, he'll toss you one, and throwing the apple will make him think of baseball, and he'll want to play. You'll have to get a ball and a glove. Of course, he'll also need a bat and he'll ask you to pitch. He'll hit a home run. And then he'll do a happy dance to celebrate. Dancing will make him hot and dusty, so he'll need some water. And he'll probably start a water fight. And you'll have to dry him off with your bandana. He'll wrap it around his head and pretend that he's a pirate. Then he'll want to go on a treasure hunt. He'll find an old kite and want to make one himself. You'll have to get him some sticks, paper, and string. When the kite is finished, he'll want to fly it, and it will go higher and higher. until it gets tangled in the apple tree. The tree will remind him of apple juice, so he'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if he asks for some apple juice, he'll want a donut to go with him. Thank you all for coming and reading with us today. Um, have a good day. And don't forget that you can always make your own donuts at home. It's a fun activity that you can do right at home without having to go outside. And don't forget to look for more online books and reading from Babel.